Our today's crime story is about the Indian Jack Ripper, a mysterious serial killer's identity that still remains in the shadows law enforcement agencies. This is one of the most infamous, unsolved serial murders in Indian history. The Stone Man, so far is the most elusive and mysterious serial killer in the Indian crime history. Almost like another version of Jack the Ripper. In 1989, nine people living in one of the most crowded city of India, Bombay were killed in a very similar way, their heads were smashed with a heavy blunt object. People, who walked early in the morning as a routine, were afraid to leave their houses. The city police were puzzled by these killings, and did not have single clue or evidence to work with it. Later on, the same way of killings in another city again emerged as challenged to the Indian agencies. The Indian unidentified serial killer, who murdered at least 13 homeless people, on the streets of the city during their sleep in 1989. The name, Stone Man is given to the serial killer, because the serial killer was killing the people by stone. It has been speculated that these were the work of the same person, who could have been responsible for as many as 26 murders. A very similar series of murders was noticed in Bombay from 1985 to 1988. The Stone Man was blamed for 13 murders over a period of six months, but it was never identified whether the crimes were committed by one person or a gang. The Calcutta police also failed to resolve whether any of the crimes were committed as a copycat murder. To date, all 13 cases remain unsolved. The first hint of a serial killer who was targeting homeless rag pickers and beggars in India came from Bombay. Starting in the beginning of 1985, and lasting well over a period of two years, a series of 12 murders were committed. The serial killer's modus operandi was very simple, he first select an unsuspecting victim sleeping alone on the street, in a desolate area. The victim's head was crushed with a single stone. In almost all cases, the victim's identification could not be ascertained, since they slept alone and did not have relatives or associates who could identify them. Compounded to this was the fact that the all victims were people of very simple means, and the individual crimes were not high profile. It was after the sixth murder that the Bombay police identified the same pattern in the murders. A homeless waiter survived a brutal attack of the stone man, and managed to escape being bludgeoned to death. The police authorities were expecting that the waiter may have seen the face of stone man, but he told nothing clear. As mysteriously as the killings had started, by the middle of 1988, they stopped the same way. During early 1989, immediate after the Bombay serial killing stopped, serial murders in same Bombay way started in Calcutta, another crowded city of India. The first victim in Calcutta died from injuries to the head in June 1989. Twelve more would die within the next six months. Whether or not the Bombay killings were linked to the Calcutta, Stone Man, killings has never been confirmed. However, the similarity in the instrument, choice of victims, execution, and the time of the attacks suggests the killer is same or was familiar with the Bombay serial killing episodes. After the serial killings started, panic gripped the city and a massive deployments of police, in various parts of the city at night were resorted to and numerous arrests were made. After a spell of arrests in which a handful of suspicious persons were rounded up for questioning, the killings stopped. However, since there was no incriminating evidence, all those summarily arrested had to be released. The Stone Man murders remain the most mysterious cases in the Indian history, to have never been solved even though there was an eyewitness. These are murder cases of about 30 people, who were killed by the Stone Man of India, are to date remain unsolved. 
Kindly don't forget to like and subscribe our channel for more crime stories. Thank you for watching this video.